I had a dream about you. <laughs> All the cows were falling out of the sky and landing in the mud. You were drinking sangria, and I was throwing oranges at you, but it didn't matter. I said, my arms are very long and your head's on fire. I said, kiss me here and here and here, and you did. Then you wanted pasta. So we trampled out into the tomatoes and rolled around to make the sauce. You were very beautiful. You were in the Safeway parking lot. I couldn't find my cigarettes. You said, hurry up! But I was worried there would be a holdup and we would be stuck in a hostage situation, hiding behind the frozen meats with nothing to smoke for hours. You said, don't be silly. So I followed you into the store. We were thumping the melons when I heard someone say, Nobody move! I leaned over and whispered in your ear, I told you so. There was a show on the television about buried treasure, so you were trying to convince me that we should buy shovels and go out into the yard, and I was trying to convince you that I was a vampire. On the way to the hardware store, I kept biting your arm, and you said if I really was a vampire, I would be biting your neck. So I started biting your neck, and you said, cut it out! And you bought me an ice cream, and then we saw the UFO. These are the dreams we should be having. I shouldn't have to clean them up like this. You were lying in the middle of an empty highway. The sky was red and the sand was red and you were wearing a brown coat. There were flecks of foam in the corners of your mouth. The birds watching you. Your eyes were closed and you were listening to the road and I could hear you breathing. I could hear your heart beating. I carried you to the car and drove you home, but you weren't making any sense. I took a shower and tried to catch my breath. You were lying on top of the bedspread in boxer shorts, watching cartoons and laughing but not making any sound. Your skin looked blue in the television light. Your teeth looked yellow. Still wet, I lay down next to you. Your arms, your legs, your naked chest, your ribs delineated like a junkyard dog's. There's nowhere to go, I thought. There's nowhere to go. You were sitting in a bathtub at the hospital and you were crying. You said it hurt. I mean the buildings that were not the hospital. I shouldn't have mentioned the hospital. I don't think I can take this much longer. In the dream, I don't tell anyone. You put your head in my lap. Let's say you're driving down the road with your eyes closed, but my eyes are also closed. You're by the side of the road. You're by the side of the road and you're doing all the talking while I stare at my shoes. They're nice shoes, brown and comfortable, and I like your voice. In the dream, I don't tell anyone. I'm afraid to wake you up. In these dreams, it's always you. The boy in the sweatshirt, the boy on the bridge, the boy who always keeps me from jumping off the bridge. Oh, the things we invent when we are scared and want to be rescued. Your Jeep, your teeth, the coffee that you had bought me, the sandwich cut in half on the plate. I woke up and ate ice cream in the dark, hunched over on the wooden chair in the kitchen, listening to the rain. I borrowed your shoes and didn't put them away. You were crying and eating rice. The surface of the water was still and bright. Your feet were burning, so I put my hands on them. But my eyes... But my hands were burning too. You had a bottle of pills, but I wouldn't let you swallow them. You said, will you love me even more when I'm dead? And I said, no, and I threw the pills on the sand. Look at them, you said, they look like emeralds. I put you in a cage with the ocelots. I was trying to fatten you up with sausages and bacon. Somehow you escaped and climbed up the branches of a pear tree. I chopped it down, but there was nobody in it. I went to the riverbed to wait for you to show up. You didn't show up. I kept waiting.